May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. June 30th, 2023, Friday of the Twelfth Week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Abraham reached the age of 99, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me faithfully and be blameless. God said to Abraham, As for you, you must keep my covenant, you and your descendants after you for the generations to come. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you, the covenant you are to keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. Then God said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai, her name will be Sarah. I will bless her, and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations, kings of peoples will come from her. Abraham fell face down. He laughed and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of ninety? And Abraham said to God, If only Ishmael might live under your blessing. Then God said, Yes, but your wife Sarah will bear you a son, and you will call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. I will surely bless him. I will make him fruitful, and will greatly increase his numbers. He will be the father of twelve rulers, and I will make him into a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you by this time next year. When God had finished speaking with Abraham, he ascended from him. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm. The response is, See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord, that walk in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labors of thy hands, blessed art thou, and it shall be well with thee. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Your wife is like an abundant vine on the sides of your house. Your sons are like young olive trees surrounding your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. May the Lord bless thee out of Sion, and mayest thou see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And when he had descended from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And behold, a leper, drawing near, adored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you are able to cleanse me. And Jesus, extending his hand, touched him, saying, I am willing. Be cleansed. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See to it that you tell no one. But go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses instructed as a testimony for them. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Who in my life is like the leper in this story, marginalized or stigmatized, and in need of love and respect? How can I imitate Jesus' act of reaching out to them with dignity and compassion? And when he had descended from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And behold, a leper, drawing near, adored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you are able to cleanse me. Matthew 8 verses 1 to 2. 
to do homage to another, is to publicly express reverence and respect. This is what this leper did to Jesus. He did him homage. But the leper went even further. He also expressed his certain faith that Jesus could cure him if he wished to do so. And Jesus did desire this. Jesus stretched out his hand to touch the leper and pronounced the words, I will do it. Be made clean. And with that, the leper was cleansed. The first thing to note in this passage is that Jesus touched the leper. This was a forbidden practice since lepers were unclean and touching them could spread their disease. But Jesus broke the norm and touched the man, revealing to him his innate dignity. It's interesting to consider the question, who paid whom, a greater act of homage? Was the act of homage shown by the leper greater? Or the act of touching and cleansing the leper greater? Though we need not compare these two acts, it is helpful to reflect upon the profound fact that Jesus did show a form of homage to this unclean leper. As was said above, to do homage to another is to publicly express reverence and respect to them. Without a doubt, Jesus did just this. He not only honored the leper by his touch and healing, but he publicly expressed his love and respect for this man through this act. Of course, the homage we owe to God is unique. It is the homage of worship. We must bow down before him, surrendering our lives in total abandonment and trust. We must honor him as God and express our love accordingly. But, in addition to Jesus showing his almighty power by this miracle, he also sets for us an example of how we must treat others. Every person, because they are made in the image and likeness of God, deserves our utmost respect, and they deserve to receive that respect in a public way. We must continually seek to honor and respect others, and express that honor and respect for others to see. This is especially difficult when the person we are called to show respect for is considered by others as unclean. The leper is only a symbol of the many types of people whom the world considers unclean and unworthy. Criminals, the poor, the confused, the sinner, the homeless, the political opponent, and every other person in our world deserves our utmost respect and reverence. Doing so does not justify their sin, rather, it cuts through the surface and looks at their innate dignity. Reflect today upon the act of homage done by this leper to Jesus. And then reflect upon the act of homage Jesus offers this leper by publicly confirming his innate dignity. Who in your life is represented by this leper? Who is unclean because of the condition of their life, the sin they commit, or the public stigma they have? Whom is God calling you to reach out and touch with love and respect for others to see? Seek out the leper in your life and do not be afraid to imitate this holy act of homage exemplified by our Lord. Let us pray. My holy Lord, you are worthy of all adoration, glory, and homage. You and you alone deserve our worship. Help me to continually discover your hidden presence in the lives of those around me. Help me, especially, to see you in the leper of our day. May my love and respect for them flow from my love for you and become an imitation of your act of love for all. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.